try to do a lecture on odd and even functions. See how that goes? With the connection I have right now. So you'll recall that we had to find a function f is said to be even f of x is said to be even if f of negative x is the same as f of x. We have obvious examples
Similarly, if your function is odd, right, this area and this area are the same. But the integral here is going to be positive and here it's going to be negative. So they're going to cancel themselves out. If g is odd and Riemann integrable, on the interval negative beta a, then the integral of g is zero. This was a nice geometric interpretation of what's happening, but we can prove this in complete generality. And let me prove this one. It's a nice, it's a nice exercise. And you'll, you can prove the other one in exactly the same way. So the integral from negative a to a is the integral from negative a to zero. Plus the integral from zero to a. On the first integral, you're going to make a u substitution. Let u be negative x. So that du is negative dx. And so this integral is what? x is negative u, so this is g of negative u dx is negative du. When x is negative a, u is a. And when x is 0, u is 0. Second integral remains as it. You've got a negative here, so you know you can switch the order of integration. G is odd. So G of negative u is negative G of u. of course that everything is finite but that's where the Riemann integrability comes in. That's making the assumption that everything is fine and we're good to go. Some of you may be worried. Again, this integral is in terms of u, that one is in terms of x, but u or x are just dummy variables here. The integrals themselves will have the same numerical value. One of them is positive, one of them is negative, they add to zero. I'll let you repeat with even functions. It's exactly the same proof. You're going to split up the integral into two pieces, make the same new substitution, and you'll see that both integrals are exactly the same. So you get twice the integral. Try it, let me know what happens.